Today at shopdap.com, we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't let issues on your vehicle linger before repairing them. Okay, so here we have a Tiguan. This is a two liter turbo TSI. Uh, and today we're gonna be talking about why you should make repairs on your vehicle. Now, when you have a problem in your car, there are certainly, ev you know, everybody's gonna have a financial ability to pay for repairs that may, lim be, may limit them from making specific repairs. And in that case, you certainly should prioritize things based on how important they are. So this stuff is always gonna be specific to the failure and how big of an issue it is for the vehicle. But we are gonna be looking at a two liter turbo TSI engine. This is probably the most common Volkswagen engine of current day by far uh, and this issue is common and is a reason why we're talking about it. Tiguan or two liter turbo TSI engines, the valve cover is also what holds the camshafts in place. It also has a sealant RTV or not RTV, it's actually anaerobic sealant that runs around it that actually seals the valve cover which is essentially your valve cover gasket. That has a tendency to leak and they often either don't know uh, because it's not going to be a big enough leak that you're going to see it on the floor or they allow it to happen for a long period of time and then it causes a specific issue. So let's get a little tighter. Okay, so what happens with the, as we look right here, this is the cam cage where you can see there's uh, oil coming down across the front here on this front edge and what it will happen is it will leak down over the intake manifold and then come down the front of the block. Now there is, you can see, it's not too, too bad. This leak actually wasn't terribly bad. But what will happen is it will leak down the front of the engine and then onto the water pump, which is located right here. This one's a little bit different in the, for the fact that it actually has a different type of issue. Oftentimes what will happen is it leaks down and the oil will collect on top of this and then it will seep onto the water pump gasket and it will cause it to swell up and cause it to actually crack this part of the water pump housing. Now this water pump housing is, is a composite plastic material and when that cracks, obviously, you have to replace the complete water pump. There are a bunch of revisions of this water pump, including a metal one that we actually have available as well, which we can talk about later. But uh, this is the issue. So how we would diagnose that is by pressurizing the cooling system, which we're gonna do just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so we have our pressure tester hooked up. And so what we do is pump it up until we get the cooling system pressurized, at which point we're gonna see coolant start to roll out of our leaking area on top of our water pump. So as we pump this up, right now we're right around 10 PSI and we're gonna to start to see some of that coolant start to roll out and it should continue to kind of slowly bubble out. This leak isn't too bad uh, for what may potentially happen if these things blow out completely out the side. Okay, so as we see here, we're underneath the vehicle, all the belly pans are off and all that stuff. You can see we have a slow drip coming from when we tested our cooling system and that's gonna be pretty normal. And as we can see, we have remnants of an oil leak here, uh, which is coming actually down around the trans, which could potentially be the valve cover or it could be a rear main, which obviously we'll have to look at further to determine uh, and verify that we don't have an oil leak somewhere else in this vehicle other than from, from the cam cage. Okay, so this is the pump we're actually replacing on this vehicle. This is the all aluminum one that I mentioned. So the biggest deal, what ends up happening in these circumstances is when that leaks, there's actually the part of the pump actually snaps off, which is what makes this aluminum one a much better option. This is actually cheaper than, the, than some of the most of the factory ones. Uh, keep in mind, this pump doesn't fit all uh, models because uh, secondary air cars have additional sensor that's built into the water pump itself that isn't separate. But um, that will prevent you from ever having the issue of having your water pump blow out. Now, keep in mind, you still could if you allow an oil leak to happen over a long period of time in this particular circumstance, you could end up still blowing this seal out. But in that case, all you have to do is replace your seal as opposed to uh, the complete pump assembly, so, which uh, will make it obviously a much, a much cheaper alternative. But uh, if you're paying somebody labor to do this job, you do not want to have to pay somebody to take this manifold off uh, again. So you will always, again, want to address that issue. And even if you did an aluminum pump, if you allowed your valve cover to leak again, the likelihood that you have this seal blow out on this pump is still pretty high. So you will, again, because we're talking about issues that you address that cause other issues, um, there's a lot of issues on vehicles that will have a domino effect if you don't address them. And that's our video on why you should make repairs and not neglect issues that happen in your vehicle. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.